Hey everyone, welcome back to The Road to Superman. This is the web series where we follow all the latest updates and rumours regarding the Superman reboot. This is episode 20, and today we have an incredible theory that not only explains this big blob in the background, but also why the Superman suit doesn't fit him properly. Now, I can't take all the credit for this theory, as the core section comes from Ben from Real Anarchy. So, I will let him explain the part of the theory that he came up with and i will expand upon it after okay not only james gunn gave us today's the suit reveal but he also gave us the main villain of the film but don't worry i'm here to break it down so make sure you hit like subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section superman is supposed to be inspired by superman all-star in the comic books you'll see that there is a villain named solaris solaris covered the entire yellow sun which in turn weakens superman and this is why we see the image of Superman. And in the background, what do you see? The cloudy sky. There's no sun uh, sipping through. And you see that giant orb, just like in the comic books, blasting down on Earth. But what makes me more excited about this film, and this is the thing that I really love ab about James Gunn, that he know how to play around with the field. So Larry is a huge threat. Superman is already in a weakened state. He's already taken some big hits, but not only that, he's like, you know what? I could die. It doesn't matter. I'm going to strap my boots on and go and defend the earth. So Solaris being the villain of the movie makes complete sense. The blob in the background could be Solaris covering the sun, which explains why the city is so dark. But what does this have to do with explaining why the suit looks so bad? Well, many of you agree with me that the suit looks way too baggy and doesn't allow the audience to see the strength of David Corrinsweet as it doesn't tightly fit his physique. But I think this may have been done on purpose by James Gunn to tease the story and the villain of the movie. Now I think Ben's theory is correct. I think this is Solaris and the reason why the suit is baggy on Superman is because he is weaker and has lost muscle mass due to not being exposed to the sun. With Solaris blocking the sun's radiation from reaching Earth, Superman is losing his strength and with that he is becoming thinner. Just like in flashpoints where he is extremely skinny because he was never exposed to the sunlight. And so maybe Gunn is showing us the specific image because it hints at the story. The majority of people agree that the suit doesn't fit him properly, and that's the main issue fans have. It seems to be a collective belief amongst most. So why would Gunn show a first professional image of the suit if it looked so bad? Well, because that's a part of the story. Think about it. Why would Gunn get David Corrinsweet to work out so much and become so strong if it wasn't going to be shown off in the suit at all. You need that physical presence to be Superman, and wearing a suit that doesn't show that off would be terrible. So I think this is a moment where Superman is weaker, and so the suit is baggy on him. Maybe earlier on in the movie, before Solaris arrives, Superman's suit is brighter, and it shows clear muscle definition, and it fits him far better. But then Solaris covers the sun, or does something to the sun that affects Superman, and as time goes on, we can visibly see that Superman is becoming weaker by his suit not fitting him as well, and I think that makes sense. The suit isn't a tight, thin cotton to him. It's a thicker material that probably only looks good when it fits the person perfectly. So when Superman is at his most powerful, the suit could look something like this. Clear muscle definition and no wrinkles, displaying his clear physicality. But when he gets weaker, we see the wrinkles starting to appear, like the first official shot we got yesterday. Also, look at the eyebrows here. They're not that visible anymore, and in this behind the scenes shot, we can see that they aren't really there either. Something looks off. Now, Real Anarchy pointed out that this movie is inspired by the all-star Superman story from the comics, where Superman is dying. And so Ben has also suggested that maybe in this movie, Superman is dying or is ill because of Solaris. And not only is that causing him to be weaker and thinner, but it's also affecting his facial features somehow, like his eyebrows. Also, look at his posture and the look on his face. He doesn't exactly look happy or strong, 
strong or hopeful. This looks like a guy who is struggling and is weaker and is trying to keep on fighting even though he knows he will lose. Ben also suggested that maybe the seat he is sitting in is in a hospital and he's putting on his suit after they treated him somehow. In Superman and Lois season 2, Superman loses his powers and doctors were able to operate on him and I wonder if because Solaris is causing this Superman to become weaker as well, the doctors are then able to work on him. I think this theory makes complete sense. This is how good the suit would look if it fits David properly. Now this looks so much better. It looks like a proper Superman suit inspired by the new 52 line that actually fits him and feels heroic. The shot of him sitting down looks like it's a fan who's made a suit of Superman that doesn't fit him properly. He does look weak and tired, but that could be for a storytelling purpose. And I really hope he has a reactive suit, one that's colour changes based on his power. And I think that could be a really cool concept. At the beginning of the film, maybe it looks like this edited version of the suit I did, where the blue, red and gold are brighter and more vibrant, which I love. And then when Solaris affects him, the suit becomes desaturated the weaker he gets. Even if that doesn't happen, I do think real Anarchy's theory is correct and I hope it's right because I think that would make for a really interesting story and would also explain why the suit is baggy. If this isn't the case and the suit is just generally baggy in the movie, then I will be quite disappointed, but I do hope it is for this reason. They can always edit out the wrinkles from the suit in post, which they tend to do on movies anyway, but my issue would be showing those wrinkles in a professional first look if they aren't going to to be there in the movie. It's just negativity that they unnecessarily created themselves. However, look at the publicity this one photo has got. 24 hours on from the image releasing and still on over 150,000 tweets. All that talk gets the word out there that a new Superman movie is coming out next year. All from just one image that is controversial. And think about it. Starting off with maybe a weaker Superman image to get the ball rolling will mean the more our opinions will naturally improve as we will be getting better angles and photos of the suit. You know how the saying goes, any publicity is good publicity, and this movie has now got a lot of eyes on it. Good or bad, people are having opinions on it, and those opinions can easily be improved by new images of the suit releasing that are from better angles, and those people thinking that the new photo looks better than the first photo will be reassured that maybe it's not as bad as they first thought. It's that typical underselling but overperforming technique. Now, this is all on the assumption, or hope, that this isn't what the final suit looks like, and Gunn doesn't think this is the best shot of the Superman suit to start with. If that is the case though, then this doesn't bode too well for the future. But I do think real Anarchy's theory is correct, and I'll leave a link to his channel and socials in the description below. But now you have heard his theory and my theory, what do you think of them, and do you think it could explain why the suit looks the way it does? Let me know in the comments below. But that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I hope to see you here again soon. So until then, have a great day. Bye.